hey what's up Koreans welcome back to my channel so this is uh, the part 2 series of the dashboard creation and flutter um, so in case if you not watched my first video I'll add a link in the description so I request that you please watch the first video before you start watching this video and in the previous section we created the staggered tiles um, with the cross axis count and we defined the icons and the color and the text now we're going to define this method called my items so that we could create this beautiful simple dashboard in flutter so so let's start with the my items so i'm going to create this method the written type of this method is material my items which is the name of my function and this function has three parameters one is the icon text and the color so I'm gonna give the icon data as the type of the icon and uh, the next one is the title so I'll give it as heading which is string and the color is in type so we have three parameters defined and the return type is material so that's the first thing there you go so we are done with the material return type now what we're going to do is we're going to create this style so this style contains a white color it has a border radius circular it has a shadow and elevation so we're gonna give define all these properties so first is the color next is the elevation which is um, I'm gonna give a 14 and um, the shadow color so I'm using a custom shadow color for this and uh, a border radius as well and I'm going to give a circular with 24 points there you go so we have defined the tile now now let's concentrate on the elements that are inside the tile so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to center it And I'm going to add some padding. Okay, it's a cap uppercase P. And this has a property called padding. And um, I'm going to define constant edge and sets. I'm going to define all the sides. I want padding on all the sides. So I'm going to give an 8. There you go. So after my padding, I'm going to add a row. So it's going to be a row and a column inside. Now this row has another property called as main axis alignment. And I'm going to make it center just to ensure the icon and the text appears in the center. And inside this, I'm going to use children widget and uh, then the column so that the text and the icon appears one below the other. You can get it even next to each other, so it's purely your choice. So I'm going to use a column so that it appears one below the other and I'm also going to define the same main axis center and yeah now so we have defined the layout part of it now we're going to add the text and the icon so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the children widget and I'm going to show you a trick of adding uh, how to add center and padding to a text so first let me define the text um, since uh, we're getting the text values from this particular parameter I'm going to use heading 
and uh, the style property okay uh, the style properties I'm going to define only two style one is the color and even the color is from this parameter value so I'm just going to say new color because I'm using custom color values so I'm going to say new color and then I'm going to say use font size and I'm going to give it 20 that's it now so as I mentioned uh, if you want to if you want to add a padding and a center to your text you don't have to manually type you have something called flutter outline here on this left uh, I mean the right top corner click on it the moment you highlight something it gets highlighted here it gives you the tree structure of your code so I'm going to click here first I'm going to say add padding and then I'm going to say center widget so this way it's gonna put my text in the center give a padding of 8 and my text gets displayed so that's how you do your text now the next item that's pending is your icon so let's build the icon so next moving on to the icon so we have created the text part now we're going to create the icon so you can see the icon is just below the text and um, so let's get started with the icon now uh, for the icon i'm going to use material and in the material what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a color which is new color and this is going to be again the same parameter from your um, method so it's going to pick the same color so it's going to be color the color parameter so that's the color of your uh, icon the circular one and uh, next I'm going to give a border radius Uh, and the radius uh, is circular with a value of 24 and um, now this border I mean this particular material with the border radar, radius has an icon inside it so I'm gonna give a child so definitely we're gonna add padding uh, padding yeah so we're gonna add a padding with the uh, 16 instead of 8 just to ensure that it has uh, ample amount of space inside this particular box so we're gonna give 16 and uh, it contains an icon so the icon yeah so it contains an icon now the icon values also defined in your parameter so it comes from this so all I will have to use is just the icon and then the color of the icon so I'm using a standard uh, white color for all the icons and just making uh, the the box color different from the icon so you can see all my icons are in white color so I'm giving it a white and then um, after okay it's colors I always miss that okay it's colors and then the size of the icon I'm giving it a 30 so this is what uh, is defining your icon now we will build this and I'll explain it once again as to how I got this so that would be a very brief discussion so first let me build this on emulator and show you how it looks so i've built this flutter application now and uh, this is how it looks on the emulator so it has total views bookmark balance settings group work messages and um, i'm just going to give you a quick review as to what are the things that i used to get this um but before that i'm going to show you a different view now um, which is going to be uh, a different model so I'm going to show you how you could achieve that uh, in a second so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another my item 
and I'm going to add another uh, follower with a custom color and I'm going to change these uh, staggered title I mean the staggered tile values so the first one I'm going to keep the same the second one I'm going to change it to 250 so that means I'm going to increase the height and this I'm going to keep 130 I'm going to keep 130 and um, I'm going to keep 150 since we introduced a uh, follower I'm going to add that 130 here and I'm going to make this 240 and 120 there you go so I'm going to sync this um, file on the emulator so let's see how it looks right now you see this evenly distributed model now let's see after adding another item followers and uh, by changing a couple of the cross axis uh, values let's see how it appears mm, let's see let me uh, sync the file another time there you go the application took some time to sync it so I had to rebuild it now if you look at it initially we had four boxes here four tiles now you could see that by introducing another tile and changing the the height of this particular tile so I'm able to get a different entirely a different layout in this so this way you could actually play around with these tiles and see how you could do it so just to give you a quick recap of what we've added in this um, staggered grid view so what I did was the first thing I used I added a dependency here and then added the package so after that we got to define the staggered grid view count so this defines the number of columns you want in your dashboard and this is the spacing between your the vertical and the horizontal spacings and here uh, for the simplicity I have to find a custom method which takes the icon text and the color so after that you got to define two constructors so one is the count another one is the staggered tile here the first one defines how many columns your tile is going to occupy and the second parameter is the height of the tile so this way you can rearrange the tiles in your dashboard and uh, the next important thing is how you define your method that defines the tile so here i've given a tile with a white color the border radius and a shadow color and then inside that i have two elements that is one is text and another one is the icon and um, yeah there you go so this is how you create um, a simple dashboard and flutter.